Colombia's Vice President Francia Marquez, a royal rendezvous gone awry. In the vibrant tapestry of Colombian politics, few figures shine as brightly as Francia Marquez, the country's first Afro-Colombian vice president. A champion of social justice and environmental advocacy, Marquez has made waves both at home and abroad. Recently, however, she found herself at the center of a rather unexpected controversy involving none other than Prince Harry and Meghan Markle during their tour of South America. What unfolded was a blend of cultural misunderstandings, expectations, and a touch of royal drama that left many scratching their heads. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, embarked on a tour of South America with a mission to promote mental health awareness and support for vulnerable communities. Their high-profile presence was meant to shine a light on pressing social issues, but it also came with its share of pomp and circumstance. Their arrival in Colombia was eagerly anticipated, with excitement buzzing throughout the nation. However, as the royal couple stepped off the plane, it was clear that not everyone was on board with the royal fanfare. Enter Francia Marquez, a woman who has dedicated her life to fighting for the rights of marginalized communities. With her grassroots background, she has little patience for superficial engagements that lack genuine commitment to change. Marquez, known for her fiery spirit and unwavering dedication to her people, had high hopes for the royal visit. She envisioned a meaningful dialogue about the challenges facing Colombia, particularly regarding social inequality and environmental issues. Instead, she found herself disillusioned by what she perceived as a lack of depth in the couple's engagement. During a scheduled meeting, Marquez expressed her concerns about the superficial nature of the discussions. While she welcomed the attention that the royals brought to Colombia, she wanted to ensure that the visit transcended mere photo ops and platitudes. The vice president's candid remarks ignited a media whirlwind, showcasing the clash between royal expectations and the realities of Colombian life. At the heart of the controversy was a cultural misunderstanding. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle approached their visit with the mindset of goodwill ambassadors, intent on spreading positivity and awareness. However, for Marquez, it was crucial that their efforts align with the lived experiences of Colombians, particularly those from marginalized communities. The vice president's frustration stemmed from the feeling that the royals were not fully grasping the complexities of Colombia's social landscape. With issues like poverty, violence, and environmental degradation looming large, Marquez wanted the royals to engage in substantive discussions rather than simply bask in the glow of celebrity. Marquez's stance resonated with many Colombians who shared her sentiment. They yearned for authentic engagement, not just a fleeting moment of royal charm. The vice president's call for authenticity struck a chord, highlighting the importance of genuinely understanding and addressing the struggles faced by communities in Colombia. In a world where celebrity often overshadows substance, Marquez's insistence on depth over spectacle is refreshing. It serves as a reminder that the most powerful conversations often occur when we look beyond the surface and engage with the heart of the matter. In the wake of the visit, both sides were left to reflect on the encounter. For the Sussexes, it was an opportunity to learn about the complexities of international diplomacy and the importance of cultural sensitivity. For Marquez, it was a chance to elevate the discourse surrounding her country's challenges on a global stage. The fallout from this royal rendezvous offers valuable lessons for leaders and public figures alike. It underscores the need for authenticity and advocacy and the importance of listening to the voices of those who are most affected by the issues at hand. After all, change is most effective when it comes from a place of genuine understanding and respect. As the dust settled, Marquez continued her mission with renewed vigor, embracing the spotlight that the royal visit inadvertently brought to her work. She used the moment to amplify her advocacy for social justice, environmental protection, and the rights of marginalized communities. In doing so, she transformed a potentially negative experience into a powerful platform for change. The vice president's ability to pivot from disappointment to action is a testament to her resilience and commitment to her people. By reframing the narrative, she not only preserved her integrity but also inspired a new generation of leaders to prioritize authenticity over celebrity. Moving forward, the encounter between Francia Marquez and the Sussexes serves as a reminder of the complexities of global engagement.
as public figures navigate the delicate balance between influence and responsibility, it's crucial that they remain grounded in the realities faced by those they seek to assist. For Colombia, the royal visit may have started with missteps, but it ultimately opened the door for deeper conversations about justice, equality, and environmental stewardship. Marquez's unwavering dedication to her country and its people shines brightly, and her efforts will undoubtedly continue to inspire change. In a world increasingly dominated by headlines and buzzwords, Francia Marquez stands as a powerful reminder that change requires more than just goodwill. It demands an understanding of the complexities that shape our societies. As we reflect on the royal visit and its aftermath, let's take a cue from Marquez, embrace authenticity, listen deeply, and engage meaningfully. The lessons learned from this unexpected encounter between a vice president and royals are profound. They remind us that while celebrity can draw attention, it is the genuine commitment to understanding and addressing the issues at hand that will ultimately lead to lasting change. So, the next time you find yourself caught up in the allure of fame, remember to look beyond the surface and seek out the stories that matter. After all, that's where true impact lies.